players have to deal with all the time, in fact, all of us brass players, is range. We want to constantly work on our range. Um, a lot of time is spent probably maybe too much in the upper register, but it is important. Uh, most of our solo rep gets up past F above the bass clef staff now, up into Gs and B flats. Uh, for euphonium players, it's even harder and higher. Uh, trumpet players, you know what we're going through. Horn players have been doing it forever. Um, Tremone players as well. We all need to get that range working out. We did some low register arpeggios in a different exercise. Well, now I want to do some higher register arpeggios. And these are going to be a little fun because we're going to push ourselves to some extremes. Now, here's the thing. Playing high is not about pressing your face into the mouthpiece so hard that you leave a dent on your lip. Uh, it is not about feeling pain. It is not about impressing the person sitting next to you. It is about being able to direct the airflow, to be able to get the right tensioning in the lips, and that comes from time and instruction. And if I haven't said it in these videos, if you are not seeking private instruction, please do. Yes, you can learn a lot by watching a video and copying other people's sounds. In fact, you can do quite a bit. But it is important to have somebody who understands the technicalities and physicalities of this art form to sit next to you and help you deal with what you're doing. We're all built differently. What works for me may not work for you, but there are some generalities that we can work with. So as we're moving up these high arpeggios, we're going to start on B flat below staff. We're just going to play major arpeggios ascending chromatically. So B flat to B to C to D flat. Um, and we're going to work our way maybe even up two or three octaves. We'll see what happens. It's a lot of fun. If you are struggling to get the notes out, stop, okay? Stop, take your mouthpiece off, play them on the mouthpiece. If it gets hard there, sing them, okay? The important part for me is that you start to make connections between eyes and sound and fingers and eyes and sound so that when you pick up your instrument and gradually start to get these notes to happen, they'll come out for you, all right? Do not struggle, stress, strain. If you feel like you're pinching back too far on the cheeks, that's bad. Don't do, We don't want the smiling thing. If it starts to get to that point for you, put the horn down. Try the mouthpiece, all right? Um, listen to your teachers. Listen to your body, just like anything else. All right, high arpeggios. I'm setting the metronome at 60 today, uh, and we'll see what happens. So we're going to treat this like an in for one, out for seven exercise. So... In for one, out for seven beats. Hold that last note. Beautiful sounds. This is musical. Brahms wrote these arpeggios. Even when we get silly high, try to maintain your musical concept. Here we go. One, two. Stop on G. One, two.
flats. Let's now go to E. stress out. High notes take a long time to learn. Work with your teacher, get with your band director, work with somebody, but don't stress. 70% of our time needs to be spent in the mid register. 5% up high. Maximum. All right. Um, the great uh, trumpeter Maurice Andre talked, who played piccolo trumpet like an angel, said of that instrument, only practice it about 10, 10 minutes a day because it'll get you. All right. Take it easy. Don't worry about the high notes. They are there. Give yourself time and be patient. In fact, let's blow a relaxer together. B flat relaxer. Deedle, 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 deedle. Ready? And. See you at the next exercise. Mm -hmm.